my mom's day to choose because we rotate. She wants to eat at the Chinese buffet every week, but she doesn't want to say that she wants to eat at the Chinese buffet. So she's trying to get me to choose for her right now. Yeah, I don't want to be on camera. Oh, it is starting to warm up. What a way to start off Friday. Feels yeah, good. I feel ready to uh, ready to go today. We made it. We still have firewood left over after the long winter. And look at this. It's gonna be 72 today. And then we got 76, 67, 74, 66, 64, 70, 67, 65, and 60. Six, yes. To celebrate, I am wearing my spring shirt. I'm really pumped today, you guys. Um, because it's actually been a killer week for me. I've got a lot done. And I wanted to share why I think that happened. It happened because of our Tuesday meeting. Cammie and I have a business meeting that we talked about here. And two things happened. One is I told her about some of my goals long term. And second of all, uh, we put it on the calendar. And what that did is it lit a fire under my ass so that all these things on my to-do list, things that feel like really kind of mundane, like sending this email, having a conversation with Seven, finishing a photo album, buying plane tickets, posting a Facebook picture. I got it all knocked out because now I had like a concrete deadline and a reason to kind of rush. Before it was just like, I don't know, none of these things are like that important. And it's like, oh, I could do it today or I could do it tomorrow. And when I have that type of mindset, other things that come out through, up throughout my day, they kind of take up the space and these things keep on getting pushed back and pushed back. But I didn't realize how much real estate this stuff is taking in my mind because just getting into a habit of not doing things puts my whole lifestyle on a habit of not doing things. So even not doing unimportant things, it contributes to me not doing things that I think are really important. And if I was you guys, I'd be wondering, like, why do they work out um, lifting weights as a family? The dad, the mom, the kids, like, are they just trying to bulk up? Are they like trying to enter some muscle competition or get really strong? And actually, that's not the reason. Those are side effects, if anything. But the reason why I do it is because I think it's good for our family to accomplish something well and hard together and to start off the day that way. It kind of says, hey, if we can do this hard thing, I think we can just do easier things later on, or at least it makes things seem easier. This was like a big week for me because a lot of these tasks I had kind of been like stuck in and I feel more unstuck now to a point where Monday, that's my big deadline for starting to write again. I feel like I got a lot of stuff done just in this last three days since talking with Cami, And that's why I wanted to kind of share this with you guys because we really have a heart for the people that are watching this vlog. And my goal is that people that watch this vlog continue to find freedom and get more unstuck from things that are holding us back. And there's the general way, like, you know, by watching this, hopefully you're getting a new viewpoint of family. Um, by being exposed to some new ideas and getting unstuck from those. But even in specific ways, our hope for you guys is that you would find freedom from those tasks that are kind of like, maybe they're in the back of your mind. It could be sending an email or doing a creative project or writing a book or contacting that one person who you've been wondering about, maybe making an apology, maybe signing up for a 12-step group or counseling or whatever it is, I don't know. 
uh, reading a book. I would like for you guys to take steps towards doing those things. Because what happens for me is there's a lot of things that take the place of the best things. They could be good things, but they're easier. It could be making money, clocking in, checking email, checking Facebook, um, cleaning the house. Those are great things, but they become crutches for me. So this is what I did this week, and I'd like to pass this challenge on to you guys. There's two things that I did that helped me out. One is I told Cami. So for you, find someone that cares about you. A spouse would be great, a friend would be great. In a way, it doesn't matter, but it's making it more real. It's telling yourself even that this thing is valuable. Too often, I think we get trapped in thinking that only things that make money or that a boss tells us to do are valuable. And the second thing is set a deadline. Not meeting a deadline feels like failure, but it's also a failure to let one day slowly drip by after another, after another, turns into weeks and months and nothing happens. That doesn't feel as much like a failure, but I actually think it's more of a failure. I still have a long ways to go before Monday, so I have a fire lit under my ass though to get headed on some of these tasks. I still gotta work on a photo album, um, work on a lease document, and book someplace uh, overseas. I am going out to lunch with my parents today because it's Friday. Where are they? You guys ready? Yeah. Where are we going to lunch? Where should we go? It's my turn, I think. Okay. This is the tightest booth I've ever been in in my life. Mom is wearing a tank top underneath here. Way to go. Because I went to yoga and hey, I didn't change the clothes. You don't need to have an excuse for me, Mom. Okay. I think it's great. It's inspiring. Oh. This is my parents' favorite part of the entire meal where we decide who pays. <laughs> Thank you. One check only, guys? One so? check, yep. Alrighty, here we go, guys. All right. Thank you. Here's my card. <laughs> you guys do it. Want to pick which hand it here? Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, L, F, N, O, B. Which I didn't get. Left. Okay, that one? Wait. That's not left. That's oh, right. Yeah, this is the left. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. my left. Okay, that's the one that's paying. Yeah. No, boy, you pick poorly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, mom and dad. I hope you guys have parents that are that generous that pay for your lunch. Oh yeah. <laughs> How are they related? I want to get this one. How are they related? We worked for Murray Gildersleeves. Murray Gildersleeve has a brother, Roger, and he's a grandson. My dad worked in Alaska 40 years ago. And my brother just traveled to Alaska and ran into his boss's brother's grandson. And this picture turned up of my dad from 40 years ago. Full of mosquito. That was a thing. Mosquito on the Look at that. That's pretty badass. What happened? <laughs> you got no so mosquitoes today. <clears throat> it looks like you got softer. You look, oh, you yeah. looked pretty cool back then. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was. Let me see that again. So those are all mosquitoes on his helmet. Those are mosquitoes on hard head. Dang. Okay. 
Yeah. How did I lose my lid? Yeah, oh shoot, yeah. <laughs> well, I told Sam, I was like, if they're not there, just... You can let yours on about lost. It's been um, a long day. A lot of time has passed since lunch. Uh, and I got a lot done. Not as much as I had hoped. But it's 5.15 and we're gonna go out to dinner at six to celebrate Shabbat. So we're just uh, helping bring it in with a little uh, relaxation. We rest every week, no matter what. We actually think it's more important than work. We need the rest. If we don't have it, something's it's not gonna be good for us. Yeah, being raised in um, the Christian religion, I feel like all it was all about like doing the right thing and being a really good person, um, even though they didn't say that. You know, Jesus said this crazy thing. Come to me, all of you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. We actually believe that Christianity is more of a religion of rest than it is of work, uh, at least for us. We celebrate the work of God or through Jesus, Jesus' work for us. And the best work we can do is actually from a place of rest. So we actually take it pretty seriously, but we enjoy it. But you know, it's, it's something we do, like no matter what. <laughs> so another week, I feel like I haven't yeah. seen you all day. Yeah. We don't have anything else to say. We'll see you guys next week. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>